Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Cody. Welcome to my channel. Up next, we've got Christian all the way from Las Vegas here for just one session while he's here. But I absolutely love getting visitors from all over the world. And even if you're here just one time or a million times, I will do my absolute best to help you. So enjoy the session. All right. So we've got Christian here. Yep. Visiting. <laughs> visiting from Vegas. Yes. Nice. Yes. I made the trek all the way. <laughs> it was um, a doozy. Have you ever seen a chiropractor before? I have. Okay. Yes. So do you see one regularly or just kind of when you've got a few issues? When I have a few issues, I was seeing one regularly like a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. And then he moved gyms. So I haven't seen him since. So he was practicing out of a gym. Yeah. And then you were like, I'm not going over to that gym. I just didn't have any issues anymore. And then actually recently, recently, I was ignoring, I had a knot back here. Yep. Uh, and I was ignoring it and I, it, it made it worse. And so now that I rolled out the knot, now it's almost like, I don't know what happened. Traveling down she's traveling, bit. she's okay. she's migrating a little, just slightly. <laughs> okay, how long has that been going on? Like a couple weeks. Okay, so, so relatively not, recent. Not too long, like a few, I haven't worked out in a couple weeks because of the shoulder issue. And I was like, it'll get better because it always does. And yep. it just really hasn't. So when you messaged me, okay. I was like, oh, this is kind of perfect. This could work. So yeah. Yep. Are you getting any like numbness, pins and needles or tingling sensations? Yeah, like right right through here. Okay. Yeah. And does it extend down into the arm or does it kind of stay right there in that? Sometimes depth? it'll go through the arm too. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'll just do an exam on this. Mm -hmm. And then what we'll do is we'll see what we need to do. Okay. And then we'll just kind of go from there. Perfect. Okay, that's good. awesome. So let's just see what your range of motion's like of the shoulder. So just bring your arms straight up like this for me. Okay, do the other side just so we can compare. Relatively the same, okay, relax there. And then straight off to the side. Good, same thing there. Quite even again. Okay, relax there. Okay. Now with this arm, just go like that for me. Okay. And then like this. Yep. And then just reaching up behind your back like this and see how high. I wow. That's really good. It's bendy. Bendy. You are bendy. Bendy. <laughs> hold the hands together. Stop me from pulling them apart. Good. Back of the hands together and holding there for me. Ooh. That's where she is. A little bit of peck. A little bit. A little bit of peck minor involvement oh, as well. Okay. So this makes sense. Okay. Usually when you do a muscle strain somewhere, and let's just say for you it's kind of more in the posterior aspect of the shoulder, mm -hmm. your body then has to counteract that somewhere. Mm -hmm. And in your case, pec minor then is trying to kind of offload that. Okay. Have you found that when you're doing exercises like, like a shoulder press, mm -hmm. that you feel like your body's kind of like, oh, that doesn't feel yes. quite as normal and smooth as yes. that left side? 100%, yeah. So your, but your body, is, it's smart, right? It recognizes that there's probably an inflammatory thing going on, the tendon's a little bit aggravated, maybe even the bursa, you know, some ligaments, the muscles strained, all of those things. Mm -hmm. The nerve then is pissed off going through there, and that's what causes these symptoms. Anytime you get kind of that, that numbness or pins and needles, mm -hmm. usually what that means is that the nerve is being compressed. Mm -hmm. So this makes sense. If there's an inflammatory condition in those, those uh, tendons and there's muscle strain, well, nerves run all through there, mm -hmm. and that's actually what's compressing it. So then the body goes, oh, let's try to take pressure off. So the pec minor then wants to pull the shoulder forward to take that pressure off and okay. to allow those nerves to go through there properly. Okay. So that's kind of what's going on here. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty, makes sense, right? Makes sense. It's all common, logical. Common <laughs> it's all logical. So yeah. you've got kind of there, all through here, mm -hmm. and then now pec minor is trying to pull that forward, and then you've got that poor little nerve entrapment that's running through there. Okay. So there's a little, a little bit going on here. Okay. So my approach with this is going to be first, we're going to use that machine on there. So this is called an SIS machine. That's going to blast that and get that muscle to relax. Mm -hmm. Once we do that, I'm also then going to put it on a setting for the shoulder to help with tendonitis. Okay. So I want that, that tendinopathy to calm down as well. Okay. So I need to do muscle, tendon, and then we'll do some adjustments. Okay. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Here's the first one. Okay. And this is going to make like a ticking kind of uh, sensation. Okay. Uh, it may make the muscle contract a little bit as well. That's, that's fine. Okay. You just let me know when it's strong enough for you. Oh. Ooh. Still okay? Oh, that's good. 
That's seventy percent. We'll keep it at that. Good. Too much? A little too much. Okay. <laughs> How's that? That's good. Tolerable. Tolerable. Okay. It's a weird sensation, right? Wow, that is so different. So on this one now, I've got it on to really target the tendon. Okay. That's a bit inflamed in there. And then, so what I also am going to use, there we go, is laser. Laser is also good at getting rid of inflammation. So I'm going to use a little combination. Okay. I tend to do that a lot is mm -hmm. also use um, these kind of things mm. to just take another angle at it. Because I mean, yes, chiropractic is amazing and an adjustment does a lot, but it doesn't do everything. Yeah. So sometimes we kind of need to do these other things as well. There we go. This piece of equipment I've had now for about six, seven months now. Okay. It is amazing. Yeah. It really has allowed me to target very specifically other structures and conditions. Mm -hmm. And it's just the ease for the practitioner. It's the ease for you. I can control the settings for you. Yeah. Like it really has, I used to, I used to use a lot more electric muscle stim, mm -hmm. which is still good. There's a time and a place for it. Yeah. But I must admit I'm gravitating towards the SIS machine way more. Yeah. And I use this on almost every single patient before every single adjustment. Wow. Now this is one of my favorite adjustments. Okay. So thank you for bringing this one in for me. All you have to do is just completely let this relax. It's going to be a very quick push just like that. Ooh. There you go. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That was crispy. Any pain or discomfort now if I do that? None. How good is that? <laughs> Bam! <laughs> All right, let me do this test as well. Just relax on this. Any pain or discomfort there? Nope. Just out of curiosity, hands like that again. So this is pec major. Fine. Back of the hands together. This was the weak one. Way better. Mm. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my, gosh. <laughs> my suspicions are okay. is this is what started it. Okay. That's just a, there's no test to prove that. No. But just from what we found and how effective it was first just to loosen that up and then one adjustment there. Mm -hmm. And then now every single orthopedic test that we had initially was positive yeah. is now negative. Yeah. That makes me kind of gear towards that. Yeah, and there's no like tingling now in my shoulder anymore. Like at all. <laughs> so I think what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to move to Australia. Okay. So in case this ever happens again. I'm here. You're here. I'm here. Or just hop on a flight. Yeah, there we go. And then just fly here. Yeah. Those were some absolute epic adjustments for Christian. I hope that he is going to walk out of here feeling much better than when he came in. Uh, he's got a long flight looking forward to going back to Las Vegas here in about a week when he goes back home. But thank you very much. If you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, uh, and then um, we'll see you next time for the next crack. Go see a chiropractor.